Here are some recommendations for the best settings in PUBG Mobile. Remember that the actual best are the ones that are most comfortable to you. But here are some recommendations. First, set display left side fire button to always on. This will give you an extra fire button on the left. Usually this setting is turned on by default. Another recommendation is to set scope mode to hold. That way it stays in zoom mode only when you hold the button. I find it more useful like this. If you feel like you have worse aim because when you press the button it also changes the crosshair, then you can turn off camera rotation while ADS and you can aim with the gyroscope. But if you turn off the setting and nothing happens, then go to sensitivity, gyroscope and put it on scope on. But as I said, this is optional. You will see which settings are best for you. There are some people who prefer to aim with gyroscope, me included, and there are also people that prefer the buttons. Another recommendation is to go to pickup and enable auto pickup canted sight. This is the canted sight. The canted sight is an additional scope that helps you in close combat. You don't want to miss it. As for the canted sight button, I prefer it on tap to use. You also want to have quick scope switch turned on. This will give you the option to equip a secondary sight. It's super useful in combat. Another recommendation will be to enable the peak settings. You can also disable peak and open scope. That way, when you enter peak, it will not zoom in automatically. That way you can use the peak in no scope mode. I find it more useful like this. And put the peak mode to mixed, so that you can have both modes. In the advanced options, I recommend you to enable the first three options. And you might find it useful to set jump, climb to separate buttons. But this is really up to you, how you find it more convenient. If you separate them, you can jump around and make yourself a harder target. An important setting is to enable quick throw, so that you can throw grenades quickly. Also enable throw consumables, so that you can throw 8 kits to your teammates. And activate the throwables quick wheel option. It is useful. Other settings you can tweak is the TPP and FPP settings. If you set the TPP and FPP setting to the lowest, your screen is bigger. I prefer it this way, but if you set them to the max, you can have what many claim to be similar of an iPad view. I mean similar to what iPad users have. They have better visibility due to the bigger screen. I prefer them on the lower setting. But if you want iPad view, turn them to the max. A setting that I find essential is the speed of your character. Go to advance and turn up the sprint sensitivity. This will help you a lot. It will make your character move faster. Next, set the mark style to modern. Because the new style shows the enemy under a longer line and doesn't block your vision. Another essential setting is to make sure to have the audio marker on. Usually it is set on by default, but make sure to have it. It is essential to know from where footsteps or gunshots are coming from. Also enabling these options is always a good idea. As reload interrupt method, I recommend fire interrupt. And if your phone is slower, you can have better performance by lowering the settings. Go to graphics, put it on smooth and choose the frame rate to be the last option on the right. At effects, if you want to have a different color when you hit someone, go to effects and choose a better color, like red. As for sensitivity, it is very much up to you. But here are my settings if you want to get inspired. You can copy and paste them and see if they work for you. They work for me. I've got inspired from some settings I found online. I tried them, tweaked a little bit and here are my current settings. Try them, tweak them yourself and see which ones are the best for you. Remember that there are no universal best settings. The best ones are the ones you feel most comfortable with.